Ken Kafwe, in all fairness, the speech the president delivered was 100%. Well spoken, well composed, tackled every angle. But my point is that we must walk the talk. Mm. It's easier to put all this in rhetoric and let it sound so nice, especially when the president spoke about the fact that must be, the fight must be nonpartisan. But whether we like it or not, it's partisan. Right? It is partisan. <laughs> Even the meeting there was partisan. You can imagine the people that were expecting that we should have invited somebody from CPP, invited somebody from NDC, invited certain, and then we know we are hitting it. Whether we like it or not, until we come together in what I call a massive united front, we cannot fight this thing. In fighting Galamsey, we need a massive united front. And what I mean by a massive united front, all hands on deck. As a matter of fact, as beautiful as the president has presented it, it stays there. And and whether we like it or not, almost everybody who visited there yesterday knows what it is. We should not live in a fool's paradise and think that we are doing it well. Fine. On the next international scene, and uh, and for people who are watching it, who are maybe limited about the happenings in our community, we think the president has spoken well, which in my view it is. On paper, the headlines are super. But I've been watching the headlines today. It makes the president very strong, but we can do stronger and better. And I think that is the approach I need us to take that. We, we, it's not enough to write a nice speech. It's not enough to write a good speech. We must walk the talk. And I keep emphasizing this. Thing. In order for us to generally fight this menace, we must walk the talk. And what do I mean by walking the talk? I know it's a very easy phrase. It means certain canes must be raised. Certain discipline as it must be. Sheikh Radley just said that certain people must be disciplined. And whether we like it or not, we all know, we all know that you cannot do this thing without the chiefs. You cannot do this thing without the police involvement. You cannot do it without the army. I have been to certain places and I see military people there and work is still going on there. And the thing is that it's no magic. The, the, uh, the excavators and the machines that are used don't get vanished in the thin air. Somebody knows where it goes. So what is going wrong? The stretchers must be in place and the president and the people that have been given authority. In fact, I think there's a lot of things the police should be uh, 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 wasting their energy on. They are wasting their energy on a lot of things here. Let's go to the places and things problem will be solved. And people should not be greedy. There are a lot of people who, even in the midst of it all, they are reaping where they have not sold.